So, I was talking to my wife the other day, guys. Yesterday, as a matter of fact. We're talking about Jordan Peterson. Yes, sir. Like the guy. Really do. Got nothing really bad to say about him. But I, there's just something missing in, in everything he's got. Something is just... It's just... He's like... It's like he skips over a lot of stuff. So, this is coming from a Christian base. It's not knocking the guy whatsoever because I, I love everything that he says. It all makes sense. Everything. But he's missing something in his whole in his whole his whole theory because it is what it is. It's a theory, but it's it's a very accurate theory. Um, but we were talking about it. The problem that he's he, that I'm seeing is everything is so self based, 100% purely self based. Now, there's nothing wrong with what he is saying, but it's not the whole truth. It's only half of the truth. You need the other half built upon it in order to actually build a good foundation. So I was telling her about um, Moses and, and Aaron, right? When Egypt was going through, you know, the desert, Moses was there. A lot of people don't understand and know is that Aaron was right there with him the whole time. When Moses went up to the mountain, Aaron was actually in control of the people, right? And uh, Aaron's the one that... <laughs> He's the one that was they got them to, you know, take all their gold, put it together, and they fashioned a golden calf, and then God made them grind it up and drink it. But anyway, it's here, here, over there. The whole thing about Jordan Peterson's thing that he gives out is you doing the work for yourself. You can do it yourself. You will be able to do this. The issue with that is, is that a person cannot continuously keep that up constantly throughout their entire life. It has to be a 100% pure life goal, and they will always become... Uh, weary, worn down at some point of always trying to think about constantly what they are doing, constantly thinking about how they're acting, constantly thinking about the words that come out of their mouth, constantly thinking about how they could actually better themselves. He's, it's not wrong to take a look at yourself. Christ tells us to do that. He tells us, you know, take this, take the log out of your eye before you can, you know, tell your buddy to get the speck out of his, which is basically like, hey, get yourself set straight first before you're going to try to tell somebody else to get their stuff set straight. I mean, it kind of makes sense. But the problem with what he is speaking about is he misses the relationship between you and Christ. He misses that relationship. When you're doing everything by yourself, it's just you doing it by yourself. There's nothing with you and God. There's nothing at all with you and, and Christ. It's just you. And that is not what the Bible speaks about. Now, is there an aspect of that? Yes, there is. There, there is a psychological aspect to it. And I'm not debating him. I'm, I'm saying what, what he's saying is exactly true. But it's only part of the situation. You see, the whole aspect of the Bible is the story of Moses and Aaron. Moses was the guy that was leading the people, right? There's always two people inside of us. And Moses and Aaron are a depiction of those two people. And Moses was the one who was following God, doing strictly what God said. But there was always a frustration with Moses. It was always, he was always frustrated with the people. He was always frustrated with what God was telling him to do. And then eventually that frustration led him to sin. And he wasn't unable to reach the Holy Land. But behind him was his brother Aaron. Aaron was sitting there taking everything in. Naive Aaron, the one that had them make the golden calf. I mean, he was there the whole time, saw the entire thing, saw and was able to translate for Moses. And when Moses was unable to do this, he, Aaron was able to go. He was able to grow. Moses died, but Aaron continued on, right? It's shedding off that old self and letting the new self come, the two egos within us. The one, the, the strong one, the ego that can do everything myself. God's telling me to do it. I better do what he says. And then there's Aaron who learns, who speaks, who's soft, who understands, who was naive, but grows up in this and understands and learns from his brother's mistakes, the other part of you, who learns from the mistakes that you have. And when you finally shed off that old self, the new self is able to come into the promised land. Because you're not focusing on everything that you're doing. You're focusing purely 100% on what God is doing. And on what God tells you that you should do. You're not focusing on yourself. You're focusing on Him. You're focusing on Christ. Now, does that mean that you can't take a look at yourself? No. 
You should always be taking a look at yourself, but that number one that you should always be looking at is what God tells you you should be. And it's going to get people in, in a lot of trouble. Because now, now you're, 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 playing with, you're playing with fire when you're not confessing Christ in your life. And I think it's also part of the reason why he's got a lot, a huge following. His following is atheists, from, from militant atheists all the way through to Christians, such as myself. I mean, because what he's saying is not wrong. I mean, let me phrase it again. What he's saying is not wrong. But he's missing that aspect. And only God can give you a peace. He can give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. And without that, there will never be any peace. You will just always constantly keep having to strive to be something better than you are now. Constantly. And bigger. And better. And badder. It's, it's the same thing that a lot of vloggers will do on YouTube. Their next video has to outdo their previous video. I mean, look at the biggest YouTubers, man. The stuff that they were coming up with when they were... Bitty bitty is all, like, down here. And then the progression goes. And every video gets crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier and bigger and stronger and louder and faster. It's just how we are as humans. Without God, there's no, there's no pure, true direction. There's no pure, true morality without Him. Because you just constantly do this. So we need to know that the personal responsibility has to be there, but God has to be your center figurehead. He has to be. Without that center figurehead, you're you're gonna you're gonna wear out. You know, you're gonna wander through the desert constantly, wondering, hey, when is God gonna give me what I want? He doesn't do it. Oh, I guess I gotta take care of it myself. I mean, there, there was, there's an awful lot of that going through the Bible. But after Christ died, we don't need to take care of it for ourselves anymore. He did it. So you should be satisfied with what you have. And become the person that Christ wants you to be through the power that Christ gives you to be. Stop doing to do and do to be. Be that person. Don't just do it. Be it. Your life will change quite a bit. Your outlook on a lot of stuff will change. So I'm just hoping that you guys understand this video. It may have seemed like a little bit of a rant. I'm probably all over the place. I'm on my way home. And it's Friday. Anyway, God bless. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Peace.